Hello everyone, hello and welcome back. Let's play the getaway. I'm the Black Shadow, and we are here at Charlie's Depot to hand over the cash to get our boy. At least that was the plan. Problem is, we've kept the money. I don't know how we're gonna get it out of this one. Oi, Hammond. You're not doing too bad for a Collins boy. Now hand over the fucking cash. Don't insult my intelligence. Where's Charlie? Where's my boy? He didn't say anything about handing the cash over to you. You want the cash? You produce my boy now. So much attitude. What do I do to deserve this? I don't know, Jake. Seems like no one appreciates a good guy these days. Have we finished with the comedy routine? <laughs> yeah, we have. Now hand over the fucking money. Catch, dickhead. You got your fucking money. Now finally, hand over my boy. You didn't seriously think Uncle Charlie would play ball, did you? No, I didn't. Be too much to expect any honour from the Jolsons. Honour amongst thieves, maybe. Maggots, never. Ouch. What did he say? What the fuck is his stench? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, go get him. So, Charlie was going to try and whack us right there. Although, like uh, Mark said in the last video, Biggest time the world could do without the Jolsons. I can't see a fucking thing in here. Split up, boys. Go round the other side, Spark. Damn it, all the boys are in here. Fantastic. This is gonna get bad. Hit him! Hammond. Fuck you, Sparky! I got a knife. Fuck you! Sparky down at least. Uh, oh crap. No, he ain't gonna be he ain't gonna be electrocuting any more fucking people down here. Maybe in the depths of hell he can get his own damn treatment. That's Sparky down, that just leaves eyebrows and Jake. Whack him. Yeah, a bit of height never hurt. Ow, 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 ow! Look at this place is massive! Absolutely massive, this place! Come on, get down the stairs! Takes ever to to get up and down stairs. That Jake can't tell from here. Oh, not a good camera angle, is it, folks? Hold on a second. Can we? Let me just. I love being a genius sometimes. Come on, keep going. Jake's up there on the stairs, you can see. The problem is, is Jake does take a bit of a bit of a bashing. It must be said, folks. He, you know, he ain't, you know, he ain't Charlie's um, son for no reason. Many years in the life has made him quite a tough compadre. So we have to exercise some huge caution. Oh God! Oh God! Get out the way! 
Oh, I'm in trouble! Damn, that was a bang. What on earth have they got in this damn warehouse? Enough, enough, enough bloody explosives to take out part of London. Goodness gracious. I'll keep us going for now. Get some more, get a bit more of, um, ah, that's more what we're talking about. Get ourselves some more heavy ordnance. That is exactly what we want. Is that Jake up there? It's going to be tough to get across him across open ground. That's the problem. Can I get. I can't really get. can't get a shot on him from here. Let's see if we can't try and get round a bit more. It's not going to work. It's a bit more like it. Come on, how close can we get? Whoa, get down. I bid you farewell. Good God Almighty. Massive explosion. There's Jake right up there. Oh, this gun's about to run out of ammo, I think. Damn. Go, go, go. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised that Jake doesn't want to give up easily, should I? No surprise. Hmm, what's the best way to get hold of me? There was a guy using a sword rifle, and surely I can get hold of that. Ow! Bastard! Where do you come from? <laughs> ah, yes, he can't get me. <laughs> Fuck you, think you're running to? If he can just run away, I beg to differ. Fucking dead man, Jake. Kill you, and then I'll kill your damn father. Fuck did he go? He must be down there. There he is. Bastard. Fuck did he go? I'll fucking kill you! Oh shit. The soft sorrow wanker. I'll have him. He's fucking dead me. Jake, Jake, leave him for Christ's sake. Charlie's got plans for Fuck him. Charlie, he's mine. If you top him. No, he's mine. I'm sending him to someone else. Uh oh. That sounded like Charlie. That can't be good. If that was Charlie, then... Oh, you've been a bad boy. You betrayed my trust, Mark. There's one thing I can't stand. It's a man who don't keep his word. In the right, Yasmin. <laughs> Didn't quite manage it, did you, darling? 
I think you were losing your touch or uh, got your mind on other things, maybe. Get on with it, Jolson. You've always been a drama queen. <laughs> Why don't you just clipped us? <laughs> yeah, Charlie. The suspense is killing me. Really, children? There's nothing that would give me more pleasure. However, I've got bigger fish to fry. You see, everyone in this town, including my imbecile nephew, thinks I've gone soft. Come a right soft toucher, a regular pushover. I've got the baboons all over North London running guns to the yardies. The fucking locals win their smack in Chinatown. The fucking Colin boys' nonces mussing on the skin trade. All in my manner. My fucking manner! Mine for 20 glorious years. They think they can eat away at me like cancer, piece by piece. And I'll sit on my fat ass, twiddling my thumbs. But they're wrong, ain't they? That's right, Charlie. I've been them jumping through hoops. It's been a fucking bloodbath. It's all down to you, my son. <laughs> well, now I've got all them cockroaches down to a manageable level, I'm gonna thumb a bone. A little ray of hope from soft old Uncle Charlie. Unfortunately, my son, it's gonna be you. Mark, the prodigal return. The bad boy that's burned. What is he gonna London. sell us to the highest bidder? <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Eyebrows. You the river. And the bomb? The bomb? Good. We're all set for a little meeting then. So what with a fucking bomb? We're still with lads. Now to extend some invitations. Why? She's Charlie Jolson. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lee. Charlie Jolson won Lee. Are you ever see Gone Hall? Charlie Jolson. Oh, you've been having a spot of trouble with the blacks and those wangers from Soho. We're in the spirit of racial cooperation. I'm going to give you the boy that's been causing you all this strife. You fucking bastard, Jolson. <laughs> yeah, he's Mark Hammond. You know the fella. One of the college's old boys. Who? Mark Hammond? Right. I'm sure you'll be interested in having a word with him. Mark Hammond? You bet your fucking balls I would. That's a fucking spirit. We'll sort out a cushy little meeting point, and I'll get back to you in the hour. We'll give him a proper little send-off. Just remember, this is an exclusive fucking engagement. You get one guest only. I don't want any of your heavies. What about this evil shit, Charlie? The boys are bringing down at the party. I want one of their marquee and his new pair of crumpets to miss this one. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> Come on, let's go and lay the table. <laughs> now I'm truly fucked. I've committed every crime known to man to get my boy back. And I'll find out I was just a pawn in that mad maniac scheme. Those fucking tribe boys are really going to enjoy feeding me to the fish. You did better than most. Looks like everyone underestimated you. It's me who's messed this up. I'm supposed to be good at this, remember? Instead, I've been caught like a rat in Charlie's trap. Yeah, well, at least you tried. At least I had one other person on my side. I just wish I had a little more time to spend with Alex before. I've been banged up for nearly all his life, and when I finally get out, this shit happens. I saw your kid. You did? How was he? Was he okay? He was okay. Who the? He'd been crying, but apart Who is from that? Him, he was all right. He must look like his mother. He looked familiar. Because he doesn't look much like you. I only saw him for a second anyway, before all of Charlie's high tech shit came crashing down around me. You did better than I did. I didn't even a get blue close. Jacket. A fat slag will probably blow up half of London and I'll take the rap for that as well. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Are you two just going to sit there feeling sorry for yourselves or do you want to stop that little Hitler? I know you. You're that copper from the prison van bust. He's filth, Mark. Frank Carter of the Flying Squad. That's right. And all the fucking choice you've got right now if you don't want to end up wasting away in the nick. Yeah? Well, why is a bill when help me? I'm tell you guys right now. You can make a name for Absolutely yourself, love Charlie Frank Lee. Carter. I know what it's up to, Hammond. I heard the whole thing. I need you alive to ruin his plan. You're no good to me dead. Besides, you wouldn't last a night in the cells of this town. Not after Snow Hill. Don't trust him, Mark. He's filth. 
Look, as it is, I'm a dead man. And so is my boy. You give it to me straight, Carter. What do you want? I'll take that in agreement for now. <laughs> but now you're working for me, you do what I tell you. Don't fucking do it. Everybody knows he's just obsessed with Nick and the Jolsons. You get me out of here. You let me and her get my kit to safety. And I'll do whatever you want. Whatever it takes, Carter. Are you in? I'll help you, but don't trust him. He's no better than Charlie. That's good enough for me. Right, I'm going to blast this door. When I do all hell break loose upstairs, I'll try and cover you from up the hall. Take this shooter and try and get out. Remember, the kid's still at Charlie's Gap, but you better hurry. Call me on this number when you've got him. I'll cut Jake off. Remember, Hammond, you owe me. You owe me your life. Get one thing straight, Carter. I want Jolson as much as you do, but we'll get my boy to safety first, all right? OK, Hammond. Now stand back. I'm going to blast this door. See you next time.